That's the insignia of the vultures. I can't believe Mo used to be a vulture. But then again, how else could she have gotten that recoil booster? No mementos. I'll have scars enough to remind me of this trip. No mementos. I'll have scars enough to remind me of this trip. No mementos. I'll have scars enough to remind me of this trip. There's a picture of Maureen and Malcolm. Looks like they're restoring an old hardtail together. Ah, junk. And a hose I can use on my bike. I don't think Mo would mind if I borrow him. Mo? Booster fuel. Urgh. Why is she running from me? She must think the whole world's against her. I think I know how that feels. That does it. He's dead. That sign. That means I'm in cavefish territory. looks deserted. Maybe the boss was wrong and she ain't coming here. She's coming. We just got here first. That means all we have to do is sit here and wait. What a stinking mess. Looks like Emmett dropped a load here. I ain't looking to buy. Won't budge. That's all of them. Can't be much holding that up now.
What a mess. Maybe I'll just take a little. <laughs> Look at him run. It was Nestor's fault. Get in quick. I have a plan. We're going to lure the Corley women out of hiding with a bike. Boss, she already has a bike. Yes, but this one she worked on with her father. It's an emotional thing. Don't try to understand. Now hurry. Looks okay for an aftermarket part. seen you since you retired from the Polecats. Hey, Ben. How's my gang doing? Uh, that's a long story. What are you doing out here? Well, retirement's pretty boring, Ben. So I thought I'd come out to the old mine road and look for trouble. You're picking fights? That's what the old mine road's for, son. Father Tork, I need your help. The gang's in jail and the law. Ben, I'm not the leader of the Polecats anymore. You are. Can't you see I'm on permanent vacation? Any fighting tips, Tork? Ah, Ben, who's tougher than you? Nobody, but those rod wheelers are uglier. They're none too bright either. I'm sure you can handle them. The vultures are quick, and they're nuts. The ones with those boosters are hard to whip. Just remember, Ben, it's not about muscle, it's about timing. 
What's up with those cave fish, man? Watch out, Ben. They're not out here for sport. They hijack big rigs. It's part of their religion. Don't get in their way. They're blind, cold-hearted killers. How do the cave fish ride if they're blind? Well, they're only blind because they wear those special goggles to shield their sensitive cave-dwelling eyes. Special sensors in the goggles pick up the dots in the road and other large objects and landmarks to help them navigate. <laughs> kind of trippy, huh? You know any way around Cuyahoga Gorge? Around it? <laughs> it's miles and miles long, Ben. What's the matter? Don't like bridges? It blew up. Ooh, sorry I missed that. Well, you could jump it, like Ricky Myron. Cave fish got his ramp in their hideout, you know. Where is the cave fish hideout exactly? Somewhere on this road. The entrance is totally invisible unless you got those weird cave fish specs. Can't talk anymore, Ben. Eating too many bugs. Well, take it easy, Father. Give him hell, Polecat. Say there, is that a pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster you have there? Why, yes it is. Ta-ta! Divers? That should have a couple of good boosts left in it.
like choppers, huh? How about um? of the Ricky Myron Traveling Stunt Show. Everything about these guys is creepy. I'm done with these boys. One of the gorge's many casualties. Ricky Myron's infamous gorge jump. Tightrope walkers, hang gliders, human cannonballs. Many have tried to cross the mighty Poyahoga Gorge, and many have failed. Except for Ricky Myron, the flying torch, who jumped the gorge on a stock Corley motorcycle. It was later uncovered that he had modified his Corley with a pre-regulation destroyer-class solid-fuel recoil booster and an automotive hover lift. Myron said he would gladly replicate the jump to clear his name, but his special ramp was stolen by a mysterious truck-hijacking motorcycle gang. All right, I've modified my bike enough. <laughs> 